special family song. One of the key elements to the Resident Evil series is that strategic management of inventory and items that is crucial to progressing swiftly through the game. Resident Evil 7 is going to have a similar element, which should add to the realism of the survival situation at hand. A short teaser video titled Shotgun in the Box was released via the Resident Evil Ambassador program, and while giving us a look at a pump action shotgun, it more importantly gives us some more details as to how we will be handling weapons and other items, and shows us a familiar friend from the past games will be returning in... Resident Evil 7. The video shows us standing in a workshop room of Marguerite's Lantern Swamp Shack, and as we turn our head, BAM! Bobbleheads confirmed! Oh wait, this isn't Fallout. And as we turn our head, BAM! Item boxes confirmed! That's right, it looks like everyone's favorite place to spend 10 minutes organizing herbs by color will be a key element in the new game. In previous games, the large item chest could hold seemingly unlimited items. In RE7, the boxes look to be much smaller, and there's a possibility they will have limited space to store items. The box in the video looks like it may only have 12 item slots, which would be much more realistic than past games and their Mary Poppins style item boxes. And while it isn't confirmed, it would make sense for the item boxes to not be connected to each other, because magical transporting items is less realistic than a mutant snake. The item box's appearance means that inventory management is probably going to be a challenge in the game. The inventory system in RE7 was shown to us in the demo, and it appears to include 12 slots, four of those being quick slots for easy access to weapons or items using the D-pad. That seems like a lot of space considering Chris had just six slots in Resident Evil 1, but it's nothing compared to the giant grid in Resident Evil 4 so we'll have to wait and see how this comes into play. Also keep in mind that the demo let you discard ammo, and there's a chance that other non-key items may also be discarded to free up inventory space. And don't forget that sometimes you'll be able to combine items to save space. So this January, when you try to pick up an object but your inventory is full, you'll have comfort knowing that at the end of that annoying run back, you will meet up with the one you love, the item box, in... Resident Evil 7 Crimson Army, are you stoked about the item box? Do you think they will be interconnected? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe!